one nine eleven sports blog. Sports blog. Now let's get this started off with some NFL news. The Jets defeat the Colts seventeen to sixteen, backed up by LT's two touchdown in Falk's last second field goal to advance to face the Patriots in the divisional um, round, so to speak. Um, very close game. It was a nail biter. Um, I was surprised how close the game was. I was surprised actually that the Jets won in the way they did. But um, that's besides the point. Now on to more NFL news. The Seahawks upset the the world champion Saints 41 to 36, backed up by a great game from Hasselback with his four touchdown passes and um, their running back last by the last name of Lynch. Um, it was a great game overall for the Seahawks, and now I can say that there is going to be a new Super Bowl champion, and new NFC champions, and new AFC champions. And now on to MLB news. Matt Garza heads to the Cubs in an eight-player deal. Um, the Yankees are also talking to Andrew Jones, and that sums up MLB news. Now on to NBA news. The Mellow trade talks. Um, the Nets are trying to make a three-team trade. Um, in that deal, the Nets would get Mellow, Richard Hamilton, and Chauncey Billups. And the Pistons would just get Troy Murphy. There's not not anything to talk about for the Nuggets because they don't mention they don't really mention who the Nuggets are gonna get. Um, but staying on the topic of the Mellow trade talks, Billups, if he's going to be traded to the Nets, he wants to be bought out. He does not want to play for the, in the Nets system. He wants to stay in Denver. So I don't think the I don't really think that the the Nuggets are gonna ship Billups to the Nets, and I really don't think the Pistons are gonna ship um, Rip Hamilton to the Nets. So there's some tension in that deal. But um, moving on, um, Matt Barnes is out for several weeks because he I think he tore something or he tore his knee cartilage or something something happened to his knee. Um, and the Celtics could get Kendrick Perkins and Garnett back. If you didn't know, Kendrick Perkins has been out since last year, um, and Garnett has been out with a with a knee injury, so um, the Celtics' interior defense and interior offense is being plagued by injuries. But and here we go from around the league from last night. Indiana heads um, to Atlanta, picks up a loss, 108-93. Washington picks up a loss at Charlotte, 104-89. Milwaukee picks up a victory in New Jersey, 115-92. Um, Detroit picks up a win in Detroit, 112-109. Boston heads to Chicago in a rivalry game, 90-79. Um, Memphis heads to Oklahoma City and picks up a loss, 109-100. Orlando heads to Dallas, picks up a victory, 117-107. Dallas is struggling because they don't have Dirk Nowinski or Karan Butler. Um, Utah heads to Houston, picks up a victory, 103-99. Now I'm going to talk about... The Knicks at Suns game. Amari Stoudemire's return and Mike D'Antoni's return to the desert. But first, some highlights from NBA.com. Not quite LeBron's return to Cleveland, but there definitely was some emotion involved with Amari Stoudemire returning to Phoenix to meet his former team for the first time since leaving this summer, reuniting with the man who used to set him up so many times, Steve Nash. Now uh, he's taking passes from Raymond Felton. Off the miss here, though. Felton going to get it to Landry Fields, who knocks down the triple. The rookie balling out of control once again. 45-33 game. There's Steve Nash getting it to his new forward. There's Akeem Ward doing his best Amari impression. Here's the real Amari taking it right at Warwick, and he drops him off. Amari had 19 in the first half. Felton Feeling it. He had a big game, 14 points through 24 minutes of play. Third quarter, we go. More Mr. Felton. Nets from three land. Messed around and got a triple double. The first of his career, 23 points, 11 assists, and 10 rebounds. Nick's on the run. There's another one of his dimes. Right on the money to Amari Stoudemire. This is how he repays his former team. Stuff like that. He had 23 points on the night. Also, nine rebounds. This one, state fair ugly. 
Look at the score. 112, 79. This one was over. Suns weren't helping their cause. And there was some frustration at the end. You see, Timothy Mozgov and Robin Lopez getting tied up. Lopez gets one right in the kisser. And then he says, hey, that wasn't nice. Knicks, very nice. They get a big win, 121-96. Now, the video doesn't mention that Fields had a double-double with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Chandler also added 16 points, and Williams also added 15 points. Um, keys for this game, um, for the Knicks, they used the run-and-gun against the Suns. They shot 50% from the field and 51.5% from three. They owned the glass. The Knicks were just about getting every rebound there was. The Suns only had like 30-something rebounds, and the Knicks had about like 50 50 something rebounds. Um, solid defense turned into great offense for the Knicks. Um, the Knicks had um, great defensive sequences against the Suns, like they did against the Spurs. So, this was a pretty good game for the Knicks. And also for the Suns, Steve Nash had 14 points, not assists. Vince Carter, I, I didn't really think he was going to be playing because I thought he was still injured, had 19 points. Dragic added 17 points to his for his team. Sorry. Um, the keys for this game for the Suns, they died by the three, um, and the Knicks lived by the three. Um, the Suns shot about, like, 29% from three compared to the Knicks, again, 51.5. Um, and they were beat by their own offense. Um, the Knicks looked like they were the Suns out there, the old school Suns from 04 to 05, um, with the run and gun, um, system. So, the Knicks were utilizing a lot of ball movement as well. They had 24 assists compared to the Suns. I think they had, like, 15 assists. And this sums up the sports box. This is BX Bowler 1911 Sports Box. Signing out.